Hey guys and welcome to my channel and to this video. For today I will be using this Fontaine watercolor paper. It is 100% cotton, 24 by 18 centimeters or 7 by 9 and a half inches and also I will be using this masking fluid for from Dollar and Rooney and I will be trying it out with this silicone brush. It's actually a silicone brush for a makeup and I decided to give it a try just to see how it will behave when I try to put a masking fluid with it on the paper and what I have noticed is that you have to be very very gentle when scrubbing on your paper because it also picks up the masking fluid so just adding it very very gently and actually in the end I really do like it it's just something that it needs a little bit time to get used to but it's a great idea so it was in a set I believe it was like something like five or six silicone brushes very very small ones also so for a awesome details but this one has a very nice pointy tip so I can also place a very thin masking fluid on top just depending on how thick your masking fluid is I do think these ones this is something for um I don't know that masking fluid that it's not really too runny but it's also not too thick something maybe in between and I do love this masking fluid just be careful when you use masking fluid that your masking fluid isn't really old because if it's too old it will be uh, too sticky it will be too thick and you will be having troubles when removing it when adding my flowers on top I left it to of course dry completely it has to be a little bit uh, sticky when you tap on it it shouldn't have any uh, moist parts but just a little bit sticky rubbery under the fingers and then I have pre-wetted the entire paper picked up a little bit of the green and just tapping in with the tip of my brush here and there is some green also I will be adding a little bit of the blue, a little bit of the yellow, brown, so just colors that you like for the nature and I'm not going to try to make anything complicated or try to do so many, too many details. I will just use it to add a little bit of the details to the background, some maybe flowers that are out of focus, some bushes out of focus and you can also see that I did leave upper part completely white I did not add any color there I believe that will just create a beautiful light to our painting and I did not want to paint it one entire wash all over the uh, paper I did want to leave those white spots a little bit of the pink also topping in with the tip of my brush this time I'm using a little bit smaller brush because I want them to be a little bit smaller and I also want to have a little bit less water in my brush now picking up some brown and black mixing those two just to create a little bit of the darker brown and adding some grasses in the lower part just to make that part slightly darker because I do want to make it look like the part that is near to us is the least is the least near to the light source so it is also a little bit darker and splattering some blue that just bled and created those soft edges and I left it to dry completely make sure that your paper is fully dry and now I'm just going to remove the masking fluid I usually do that with very very hard eraser but I just couldn't find it so I just removed it with my fingers and now I have picked up a little bit of the simply red from the etcher palette these are etcher watercolors on the left and just adding some poppies and by now I have used the colors from my color palettes from the colors I made and that are also available in my shop a lot of you have been asking me about those colors actually right now they are all sold out but I am preparing a new set so hopefully soon they will be again available in my shop I will let you know but yes those are the colors that I made myself and they are eco-friendly and red is from as I said Etcher palette just painting in the first layer lighter and on top adding a little bit more of the saturated red 
just to create some highlights, shadows and well, a little bit more interest to those flowers. And as you can see, I did not at all sketch my flowers. If it makes it easier for you, you can sketch them before you put on top a masking fluid or later on. Probably you will have to do it both <laughs> if you want to make sure you will be having those lines because when you put a masking fluid and then remove it, it usually picks up all the graphite and you can't really see your sketch anymore. Adding also some pinkish flowers. I'm using again this pretty pink from Etcher and a little bit of the red from my color palette. Again some details to those poppies. They somewhat dried so just gonna add a little bit more of the harsher edges. to some of the petals and you know poppies are very very floaty I would say flowers so they can just be turned any way you like and those those petals can be turned on a lot of different ways so I do believe that you can't really go wrong with the poppies adding a little bit of the blue flowers a little bit of the yellow flowers just to make it look like a meadow with all sorts of beautiful beautiful summer flowers a little bit more details to each of them adding some shadows and then adding a little bit of the black to the centers of my poppies and then i'm gonna add the stems and for the stems i'm using black and green some of them i'm painting a little bit darker some a little bit lighter and all of those stems don't need to go uh, to the edge of the paper you can just do them to some part of the paper just they don't have to be visible all the way you can see right now what i'm doing i'm not making that stem all the way to the edge because not all the flowers are well i guess coming to the edge to the place where we're looking but some of them are finishing a little bit further away in the meadow so also some grasses, a little bit more of the details. And also I decided to add a couple of more blue flowers with this Lebensen brush, quite tiny ones, a little bit more of the splatters first with blue. Then I'm going to add some splatters with pink, just using the same colors I used for my flowers. A few of the splatters with yellow. And also with that mix of black and green, a little bit lighter, a little bit darker, using this small brush because I really do want those splatters to be a little bit smaller. Also added a couple of red splatters and now a couple of white ones with white gouache. And when you pick up a little bit more of the water, those splatters are going to be a little bit bigger, a little bit less visible, more transparent and when you pick up a little bit less water they will be a little bit more of bag and now I'm adding some splatters with black just around my poppies you know to create those little stems and with that I'll be finishing off with this painting fun simple spring painting I hope you enjoyed it you might give it a try and guys thank you so much for watching for all your support I really do appreciate that a lot I know I've been I haven't been so regular with my videos lately but I have a lot of other things in my mind so I've been a little bit away but hopefully I will be able to come back and do two videos a week very soon hopefully and again thank you so much for all your support all your beautiful messages and well, I guess if you like this video, please hit the like button, share it and comment. If you haven't still, please do subscribe to my channel. I would really, really love that. And I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.